Hi all, this is Dr. Priyanka Mehta, obstetrician and gynecologist and I welcome you again to my channel on health and fitness for all. So I have been getting a lot of questions about delayed cord clamping and you know whether we should do it, when it should be done, how it should be done, who should do it, what are the benefits of delayed cord clamping, what are the problems with delayed cord clamping, how does it help the mummy and how does it help the baby. So let's discuss about delayed cord clamping. Before that, let me just show you about what the placenta is. So as you know, you have the baby, the fetus, this is inside the uterus and you have the placenta, which is like a disc shaped soft structure. And that is what provides the oxygen and the nutrition for the baby. So throughout the nine months, the placenta and the baby, they share the blood supply and all the nutrition, all the glucose, all the oxygen that baby is going to get from as early as 9 to 10 weeks up to when your baby is born. All of that is taken care of by the placenta. So it's a very, very important organ. And also all the toxic waste are also removed by the placenta. Now at birth, what happens? So as your baby is born, the natural tendency is that we immediately this uh, umbilical cord is what if you can see here the umbilical cord is what is going to be connecting the placenta to the baby so we just uh, and it is attached to the umbilicus of the baby so usually as a baby is born we wipe the baby and we immediately clamp and cut the umbilical cord so this is going to be part of your birth plan as to who is going to cut the uh, cord uh, for you, whether it is your care provider, whether it is going to be your partner, because we also give the option of cutting the cord to your birth partner. But when should we be doing this um, cord clamping? So traditionally, we were doing an immediate cord clamping, thinking that this is going to prevent, you know, you, you take care of the baby also quickly and we also uh, prevent hemorrhage for the mother. But a lot of research is showing that only when we do a delayed cord clamping, we are able to uh, not only, uh, you know, it is good for baby, but it's also good for mother because it reduces the risk of postpartum hemorrhage or bleeding for the mother. So especially for full-term babies, when there is no problem at all for the baby, when the baby doesn't need immediate resuscitation, we can actually, as the baby is born, uh, bring the baby, uh, cover the baby with a cloth and bring the baby to the mom's uh, breast for skin-to-skin -skin contact and actually delay the cord clamping by up to three minutes or five minutes or even uh, you know you can wait up till the cord stops pulsating or it kind of becomes white in color this is because as i told you placenta and baby share the blood so once the baby is born around two-thirds of this blood is with the baby and one third of the blood is still in the placenta. So when we give a delayed cord clamping as our plan, when everything is otherwise okay and baby is born crying and doesn't need too much of resuscitation, we can delay the clamping of the cord by some time, could be three minutes, five minutes or even more, because this is going to allow that additional blood which is in the placenta to go to the baby because after the baby is born, the baby is going to start breathing on its own and baby is also going to be getting the nutrition on uh, his own. So once you do a delayed cord clamping, this helps the baby get that additional blood. So not only the baby is getting additional blood at that time, the baby's weight improves and also later on, even up to six months, there are uh, good iron stores for the baby. So that is definitely beneficial for the baby. Only conditions where there is say um, some kind of an emergency or there is a fetal distress or baby is not crying immediately, you want to hand over the baby to the uh, baby doctor or the neonatologist immediately, we need to do a, a immediate cord clamping otherwise. It is advisable that we do a delayed uh, cord clamping, keep the baby on the mother uh, so that we can actually even start the skin-to-skin uh, -skin contact and also the breastfeeding for the baby uh, for uh, immediately rather than you know delaying it further and uh, i am sure that 
you would be talking to your care provider also about this very very important point on delayed cord clamping so that we do not immediately clamp the cord we can also give a benefit to the mom because when we do a delayed cord clamping there is research and evidence it shows that that reduces the um, hemorrhage or the bleeding for the mother that is called the postpartum hemorrhage so here's uh, another um, summary for what i have said here that ask for a delayed cord clamping find out the policy in your hospital find out the policy of your healthcare provider and uh, encourage delayed cord clamping so that it is beneficial for both baby and mother thank you Thank you.